Greetings all, and welcome to Wait, What? My name's Stephanie, and today we're talking about reassuring yourself. So this week I had the first real test of my resolve. I don't know why, but for some reason I started second-guessing myself and doubting everything I was doing, and I started questioning if what I was doing was in fact correct. I mean, I figured I'd have days like this, but I didn't realize it'd be one so hard and out of nowhere, and two so early on in the experiment. And for some reason there were just these two different trains of thought. I had the logical side of my brain explaining how everything was normal and I'm right on track and I'm being healthy and I'm doing this right. But then I had jerk brain on the other side telling me nothing was happening fast enough and I was a failure and it's stupid that I'm doing this because it's going to take me forever to achieve anything. And really it's stupid. Why am I doing this? And so it was so weird having those two conflicting thoughts in my head just battling it out for no reason whatsoever. See, I had jerk brain over here, looking at my charts and measurements and going, Oh dear God, you've only lost 10 pounds? It's been like two months. What on earth are you taking so long for? I mean, God, you're a failure at this. You have any idea how long it's going to take you just to get past 200 pounds? My God, you might as well just give up now. But then logic brain was over here all like, Dude, 10 pounds? That's amazing! Only two months to get there? You are right on track. You are doing this healthy. You're not yo-yo dieting. Look at this consistent decline. You are amazing. You keep this up and you are going to be great. And then jerk brain was over here, like, have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? You don't look any different. You don't feel any different. None of your clothes are fitting any differently. Seriously, whatever you're measuring, it's wrong because you're a failure. Then logic side over here is like, have you seen the measurements? Yeah, you can't tell we're losing inches, but we are. And it's gradual. It's not like you're going to see an overnight change. What are you expecting? And then jerk brain's over here like, yep, still fat. I just kept getting pulled by these two conflicting trains of thought and it was really getting frustrated. I mean, no matter how logical I would argue, jerk brain just kind of kept creeping in with wanting to know why aren't I seeing the results then? Because it's one thing to see them on paper. It's another to actually physically see your body changing. I mean, yeah, I'm down four inches in the waist, but I don't feel any different. My clothes aren't fitting any different. Jerk brain just keeps chiming in over there. And it was at the point where I actually had to justify to myself why I'm doing something. And have you ever had to explain something to yourself? It's really hard. And so in order to convince myself that I'm actually still doing the right thing, I had to go around justifying what I've accomplished. First off, I started by grabbing a dumbbell. This dumbbell, to be exact. And I held it. It's 10 pounds. According to my chart, this is how much I've lost so far in the last two months. And holding it kind of helped a lot. I mean, it's heavy. The thought that this used to be attached to me and it's not anymore. Well, that made me feel a little better. But again, okay, so I'm lighter, technically, but I still don't feel any different. So then I moved on to my closet. I have an old pair of pants that were a little tight on me. And I put them back on and they weren't as tight, they fit better, um, they were still a little tight in places, but around the hips and around the waist they were noticeably a lot looser. And that made me feel better too. But I was still having this self-doubt like it's not happening fast enough, I should be losing more weight or I should be losing more inches. Which on the logic side, no you shouldn't, you're right on track, you don't want to lose more than an inch every week, you don't want to lose more than two pounds every week. So why is jerk brain so determined that I'm failing? Well, then I looked at myself in the mirror, and I decided to look a little closer at the midsection, which apparently is where a lot of my insecurity was coming from today. I've been really focusing on building my ab muscle, and it's really frustrating because I carry a lot of my fat there. And so I gave it a closer look, and I found a bulge. Like, like not a bad bulge, I'm talking a muscle bulge. Like where it was all used to be flabby, there, there's still fat there and it's flabby, but there's this little bulge under the fat. And that's finally when jerk brain shut up. Okay, I had finally proven to myself that I had made a difference. I found that I was building muscle. It's just, you can't see it because muscle is built under fat. And the thicker your fat is, the harder it is to find the muscle. Now when I say I found a bulge, let's be completely clear on that here. I'm not talking like, bam, six pack coming in. I mean, you stand in just the right light at just the right angle and it's right after a workout when the muscles are the most enlarged. Yeah, you can see some definition in there. But again, it's hidden under the fat. It's kind of weird having two trains of thought. 
I mean, it's one thing to learn all you can about nutrition and to understand why the body's going through this, why that happens, and it's another to really get it. Like, it's strange. When it's happening to you, it somehow feels different than when you're just reading it in a journal or on a website or in an article somewhere. It, it's strange to have to actually make that connection between the information you're learning and actually relating it to yourself. And I know that's simple, no duh, but it's so weird to think that the human body, which in all honesty, we're triggered to want immediate gratification. We aren't really mentally set up to be able to gradually see ourselves changing over the course of four or five, six months. So when we don't see that muscle after a couple weeks, it starts eating away at us like, am I doing everything right? I know according to the books over here, I'm doing everything right. And according to this over here, I'm doing everything right but I'm not seeing the results. And that, that can really start eating away at you. I know it is super annoying to not get immediate results and to just hear that eventually it'll happen and it'll take time. And that can frustrate a person and really discourage them if even after two months, they still feel like they're exactly the same. But I promise you, that's why it is so important that you keep charts of your measurements, of your inches, of your weight, of your workout routine, measure how much stronger you are, see if you could only do two push-ups a while ago and now you're up to 10 push-ups. That is improvement and that is something that you can use to justify to your jerk brain when you start questioning, am I actually doing this right? Am I good? Is this the right thing for me to be doing? I say all of this because it never occurred to me how important it is to be able to justify to yourself that you're actually achieving your goal. So find little ways to reward yourself and to confirm that you are in fact succeeding. And I'm not saying get an extra cheat meal here or there or skip a workout. I'm saying find ways to have definitive, yes, I'm improving. Whether it's holding up a dumbbell that's the equal weight to what you've lost to confirm that this is no longer attached to you, whether it is doubling your efforts in a workout, saying you could only do five sit-ups and now you can do 20, take note of that. Be aware that you are improving. And look at your measurements. Seeing those numbers drop in a whole list, you know, 44 inches, 44 inches, 43 inches, 42 inches, 41 inch waist, it's kind of reassuring. I mean, you might not be able to see it when you look in the mirror because it's all happening slowly, but seeing those numbers on the charts, the charts aren't lying to you, so find a little comfort in that if you can. And most importantly, I think, don't psych yourself out. Don't look a year in advance. Don't look at your end goal. If you want to slim down into size 12 pants, don't think about that you're still at size 18. Think short-term goals. Think of what I can do this week. Think of what I can do next week. Try not to look at the big picture too much because then it gets too much for you to handle. So stay small, stay focused, and don't forget to remind yourself that you are achieving and you'll be okay. Moving on to this week's measurements. My chest measured 42.5 inches. My waist measured 40 inches. My hip measured 49 inches. And I weighed 208 pounds. Committing to a workout and health routine and sticking to it really is commendable. And if you're doing it, congratulations to you. There are so many outside factors, busy schedules, friends, family commitments that get in the way of you trying to be healthy and fit that having your jerk brain come in really doesn't help. So the fact that you're able to fight off all of those distractions and all of those influences to make you stop really is commendable. And if you're sticking with it, congratulations to you and you really do deserve a good job. So I'll see you guys next week. And if you've had any struggles sticking to your diets, let me know. Tell me your story. Leave a comment below or like the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.